Thanks for joining us for yet another digital reading session from Word Music. Today I'm here with Marty Parks. Hey Marty. Hey Tony. Good to see you. Thanks. Glad to be here. Today we're going to talk about your new senior adult musical. What do our customers need to know about the greatest story of all? Well, a couple of things. One is, um, you know, I love senior adult choirs. Really do. Um, they, they come early for rehearsal mm -hmm. and they bring you stuff. Right. I mean, who couldn't use all of that? Exactly. You know? I, I, I love them. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm honored to kind of uh, walk the path that my dad did. L lots of, mm. of the guys and girls listening to this, watching this today, uh, know that my dad sort of started those things, mm -hmm. senior adult right. choirs. He was a pioneer in that whole development of, um, of those materials. So um, I, I'm just, I'm thrilled to be able to kind of follow his footsteps in that. But the greatest story of all, new, new work, um, really came about because there's, um, there's so much about the Christmas story mm. that we don't know. We read over the story, but we don't read into the story so much. You know, right. We've heard it so much, it's really familiar. Um, but there's a lot we don't know. We don't really know how Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. We don't really know that Jesus was born in a stable. We assume maybe he was because he was laid in the manger. Uh, and of course, we don't know that there were three wise men or magi or kings. We, we, don't, we, we don't know. There were three gifts but we don't know the number of them, really. Right. So, uh, you know, my idea behind all of this was, um, you know, let's explore the things we really do know about this great story and maybe invite those that listen to it, that hear it, uh, invite them to listen and to hear as if maybe it's for the very first time. You know, maybe, maybe gain a fresh new insight to the Christmas story. Um, it starts with um, Sing Joy, Joy to the World. That's a um, new setting of the classic carol, Joy to the World. Uh, mm -hmm. updated a little bit, moved around a little bit right. just to make it bright and a good opener. So um, let's listen to that. Here's Sing Joy, Joy to the World. Next up, we have a great ballad called It's Still the Greatest Story Ever Told. Marty, can you tell us about this one? Yeah, of course, it's a, it's a Gaither classic. Um, and, and in thinking about telling the story, the, the song just seemed r really natural. You know, we, um, we all love stories. A, a good story moves us uh, uh, to laughter or to tears or to hope, uh, even to despair. You know, but a great story, a great story is one that, that changes us forever. Mm. And if ever there was a great story, this is it. So right. the song just seemed like a, a natural for, for this theme. So I um, wanted to include it. New setting, but a Gaither classic. Um, here's It's Still the Greatest Story Ever Told.
Well, Marty, you managed to weave in a Dottie Rambo song on this next one. Tell us about That Beautiful Name with I Call Him Lord. Yeah, I Call Him Lord, um, of course, is another classic, th this time from, from Dottie Rambo. And um, uh, I, you know, I started with, with the old gospel hymn, That Beautiful Name, and um, I don't know, somehow it just seemed natural to, to kind of flow into, and the angel called him Jesus, and, uh, but I call him Lord. Um, so it just seemed another natural thing to put into this. So many of these pieces just kind of fell into place without um, putting a whole lot of uh, uh, thought and energy into it. They just they just sort of seem natural progressions in in the song list. So um, so there it is. Let's let's listen to it. what you did with O Little Town of Bethlehem, Marty. Well, everybody knows, um, knows the carol. And uh, in the progression of the story, in telling the story, um, it was time to talk about where Jesus was born. Um, but, but I put it to a separate tune, a tune that's, that's called Christmas mm -hmm. is the name of the, of the melody, and, and we'll recognize it. I don't know that we've ever sung this text with this melody. Uh, it's a little brighter, a little more upbeat. Um, so let's give that a listen. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. The silent stars go Tell us about On a Silent Night. Well, I mentioned my dad a minute ago, and um, you know, every senior adult work I think that I've ever done, I've included a song of his. Mm -hmm. uh, one is he just knew that crowd so well, mm -hmm. new senior adult choirs, and um, you know, and there's a little bit of sentimental um, mm, sure. element to all of that. Um, so I include it. This, this is his song for this musical, On a Silent Night. Um, and again, we talk about, you know, we don't, we don't know that it was a silent night. We sing that. Mm -hmm. It was Bethlehem and they were all in for the, for the census and Mary and Joseph, we think maybe were surrounded by animals. I don't know that it was silent, but, but maybe, just maybe they could block out all of that commotion and hear, hear God speak to them in the form of this baby, the, the word made flesh. Mm -hmm. That's the idea behind On a Silent Night. Great. Let's listen. It was, after all, for them, a silent night. On a silent night, angels came to sing. Shepherds heard them tell of a new
Well, Rebecca Peck, we all know that name. <laughs> Tell us about Gloria, Marty. Well, you're right. I mean, Rebecca Peck is, um, <clears throat> is a phenomenal songwriter, great songwriter. Um, and she actually sent me this song a couple of years ago. And, um, and I've, I've been able to use, in different projects, a, a lot of her songs, a lot of her material. Um, she sent me this song a couple of years ago, and, and I knew it was great. Wanted to use it, just didn't have the right project going. So right. I, I just hung on to it. This came along, it came time in the story to talk about this angel's announcement. And um, I remembered, hey, Rebecca sent me this song a while back. Perfect for this. Upbeat bright. Again, we don't know that the angels sang. The Bible says they said, but we're kind of pretending that maybe, maybe they did sing. Some right. of this. So, uh, here it is, Gloria. Highest and on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. Tell us about Ferris and Holy, Marty. Yeah, Ferris and Holy. Um, Deborah Grubbs, good friend of mine, uh, sings in the choir at my church. We've, we've written a lot of songs together. She wrote the lyric. Actually, this lyric was on her Christmas card mm. last year. Oh, cool. Um, so I, I just kind of collect things and save them, you know, and this Christmas card came in the mail and it had her new Christmas poem on the front of it. I thought, this is great. I gotta <laughs> hang on to this. Awesome. Uh, so I did. Uh, it came time for you. And it's, and it's, a, it's a worship song. It's a, it's a right. praise song. It's, it's low key. It's a ballad, heartfelt. Um, but it just, it just cried out for a really warm melody. And so um, I did the best I could and um, set her great lyric, uh, Fairest and Holy, um, to a new melody and uh, kind of a warm, warm setting. Great, Marty. Well, let's take a listen to Fairest and Holy. Next up, we have a spiritual. Marty, tell us about Children, Go Where I Send Thee. Well, um, it, it felt like in, in, at this point in the musical that we needed something fun that was, that was up. And um, I, I recalled this, and we, we've all sung it in some version or another. Maybe it was in high school or college, concert choir, even, even a children's choir. So I just tried to make it fun. You know, we, there's a couple of solos and the choir answers and it goes back and forth and even the track. Uh, uh, has a lot of color to it, kind mm -hmm. of descriptive of um, uh, Mary and Joseph or the wise men or the angels or, or all of that, the glorious story, you know, all of that stuff. But kind of a big up, fun, um, re retaining that 
that original spiritual feel to it, um, but a lot of fun to sing. Sounds great, Marty. Let's hear Children Go Where I Send Me. Marty, tell us about Speak, O Lord. Well, um, this is really the crux of the musical. Mm. Um, this, this is where it gets personal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mentioned before, um, you know, on a silent night, was it a silent night? We don't know that. Um, but, but maybe Mary and Joseph kind of cleared out the clutter, right. all the distractions, so they could hear God speak to them um, in the form of Jesus, the Word made mm -hmm. flesh. This is where it gets personal. This is the challenge. This is the invitation to us uh, to cut out the clamor, uh, all the things we hear, we see, we experience during Christmas, and, and really allow God to speak to us in this. And mm -hmm. I mean, it takes some work. We, we, we have, we have to, right. to put forth the effort to make that happen. But it's an invitation, it's a challenge um, to let God speak to us in the middle of all of this noise, all of this activity, all of this bustling. Um, just to be quiet, to be still, and, and hear him speak. I think that's appropriate for any age level, mm -hmm. uh, and especially in this, this day and time. So um, uh, here's a little bit of Speak, O Lord. Well, Marty, we've made it to the finale. Tell us a little bit about Sing Joy, Joy to the World. Well, it's really a recap of the opener. Um, practically the same setting, which, mm -hmm. which makes it kind of economic for your rehearsals. Right. I mean, you learn the front, you've learned, you've learned <laughs> the end. Uh, different verse, you know, from the, from the carol and mm -hmm. a little different ending, but it kind of it bookends the work uh, by ending with what we started with, mm -hmm. um, with a little special final ending to it all. Um, but kind of a repeat, so um, you want to listen to it? Let's listen. Right.
thanks for joining us for this digital reading session from Word Music. Marty, thank you for being here. My, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We've got large print, no repeats, accessible ranges. What mm -hmm. else do you want to leave our customers with before we let them go, Marty? Did I mention I love senior adult choirs? <laughs> I, I, think I, you did. I think I did mention okay. that. And if you don't have one, you gotta get one. They're great. I, I, I really do love them. I'm, I'm excited about the work, and um, thanks for letting me talk about it. Absolutely.